Okay, what's up, people? Welcome to another interesting video on this channel. You will say that it's quite a while. Yes, quite a while. So, so, so sorry. I've been very busy trying to fix one or two things. But uh, the most important thing is I'm back and I'm fully back. So, the video, I mean, the, 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 the weekly video continues after this very particular episode quite a while i'm sure you'll be having a nice time anyway today we're not a boy you've got a lot to discuss on this video as you know on this channel we try to take you through uh, some of the basic things you need to know as a presenter radio presentation happens to be our focus we look at tv we look at other areas too but today let's do more of radio presentation what i'm looking at today i want to take you through some basic nomenclatures or some basic terminologies that we we'll use on radio or that we we'll use in radio broadcasting that you should be familiar with you don't want to get to a radio station and someone says this and i wonder what does that mean different profession has different terminologies radio stations we have has too and i want you to be familiar with some of those terminologies thank you i will be right back i'm sure you won't run away <laughs> Okay, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, it's all good. I'm sure you've uh, actually you've liked it and you've subscribed. If you've not, it's very important so that I don't miss uh, all the episodes and editions that will come in on this channel. Tim Topolao is my name. Simply call me Karika Talk. I'm super happy uh, to be back. Like I said, we are looking at uh, major words, nomenclatures, or call it terminologies using radio broadcast. And the first I want to tell you is DCA. You often hear DCA, it means duty continuity announcer. Yeah, this is a person who is in charge of linking announcement programs presentation from one state to the other. That is the very person who, who mounts the console, the very person who takes control of all the programs that will go on for a particular belt. It tells the next program is this, the next program is that after this, there could be announcements, it also be the one. To take those announcements i let you know that okay after this we'll take this one breaking news be, like going to be able to tell you that uh, they've got uh, a particular gist they need to be aware of or like going to tell you the programs lined up for that particular day or for that particular belt so it's that person is called a duty continuity announcer dca it could be on radio it could be on television the very next one i want to talk about is dead Air. What is dead air? A lot of us that have been hearing dead air. Don't be surprised when you get to a radio station and someone tells you what's wrong. That is a dead air. What simp what it simply means is there is a silence on radio. Interruption, silence that is actually not deliberate. You now when you talk about silence, silence that is not deliberate. And when such silence goes for like here, uh, let's say four five six seconds that is called dead hair at that point in time listeners could tune out of that station listeners could tune to another radio station thinking that oh what's wrong they're no more transmitting so that silence is called dead air not deliberate most time it's longer than a pause a pause could just be like uh, let's say a second or two but when it's getting to like five six seconds it is called dead air total silence on here nothing is going on not music not uh, whether sweepers or someone talking it's total silence for at least seven eight well, five six seven eight seconds it is called dead air the next one i will tell you is called station id station id what does that mean station id means uh, uh, it's a legal identification of a particular radio station i know station id most of the time you listen to these at the top of the hour or immediately after the particular program or, or or before a program starts to identify that station sometimes it could just be in form of it could be very short and sometimes it could be very long like a minute or less than a minute some can be more than a minute 
Station ID simply tells you that uh, uh, it, it's a legal identification of your radio station. So if someone tells you that, or your boss tells you that, please place some station IDs, is telling you that let us identify our station so that each time uh, your listeners tune in, they wonder what station are we listening to. The station ID is one of those tunes that will tell any listener that, oh, this is the station. This is Union FM. Oh, this is Social Station. This is Kaika Talk FM. Do you understand? That's simple and it's straightforward. The next one I want to tell you is close to it. It's called a sweeper. Close to that of uh, a station ID, but very short. And this one could just be some sound effect and uh, with some voiceovers. Uh, with, well, with voiceover, so to say. Uh, you know, it's as simple as the <laughs> 89.3 FM. <laughs> Very short, sometimes just two seconds, three seconds, five seconds, sweepers, and sometimes it could be 15 seconds. Just something very short to do the same, to play the same role that uh, that of uh, station ID is playing. But that of station ID, you listen to it most of the time at the top of the hour or perhaps uh, at the end of the program. But station ID could come in between songs. If a particular song is going, I'm sorry, sweeper, I meant to say. We just poof, very short it will not really interrupt that song it will just identify in between and the sweeper is expected to be played at least every 10 15 minutes so that uh, each time people tune in i'm still wondering what uh, what station they are listening to that sweeper will identify it sweeper uh, is the very one i've just discussed Okay, the very next one I want to tell you is called Signature Tune. A lot of us, uh, we, we, know what, uh, we, we know what a signature tune is, but we don't know that it's actually called a signature tune. A signature tune is a tune, a sound effect, a kind of music, voiceover that identifies a particular program. It identifies a particular program. It's also, it, most of the time, you listen to it in the beginning, and towards the end of uh, a particular program, uh, it identifies the song. So each time, wherever you are, and that particular signature tune, or so that particular tune comes off, the first thing it tells you is, oh, that program is about to start. Where is it? Let me tune in. Or maybe your neighbor is playing, or you listen to it in your neighbor's house, you just overheard it. Oh, that tells you that, oh, a particular program that I love to listen to is about to start. That. Think of that particular program that it has that particular tune that starts and most of the time they use it in between and at the end it is called a signature tune. I hope you're learning. Okay. The next one is called Jingle. Yeah, Jingle is uh, an element or can we say a song uh, that is produced by professional jingle producer or singer and uh, most of the time it goes along with uh, maybe station production or a commercial or you call it a spot so what is a jingle a jingle it's a, a kind of uh, production and that is strictly designed for commercial or for radio it could radio identification too but very short most of the time you get if it's commercial you get like 30 seconds you get like uh, 45 seconds, 60 seconds, and sometimes, sometimes, it can be more than a minute, uh, like a two minute. But professionally, when you talk about uh, commercial jingles, you expect it to be like 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 60 seconds, and that. So what a jingle is, a jingle, it's a kind of uh, song or element that is produced uh, by professionals for commercials or for station production simple as that okay i move on okay the very next one is called q c u e uh of course we also have q signal now this is a sign being given to a presenter or being given to a a, a board operator i'm going to tell you what a board operator is a board operator to start or to to, to commence presentation most of the time a board operator we cue a presenter that okay you're about to start let's go and you go to some station you will see a cue light 
somewhere around, somewhere behind, somewhere close to the presenter. And once you see a cue light, it tells you that you are on here. Start your presentation. So C-U-E could be a verb or so could be a noun. But a verb in the sense that you're being cued. Okay, start your show. So a cue signal could just be you're being cued. That is what it means. I'll talk about another one, but before I do that, don't forget that you should subscribe and please like and share. A lot of people who want to learn about presentation, radio presentation or TV presentation. And one good thing about radio and TV is that they are quite interwoven. Mm, of course, there are some terminologies that you see on radio that you won't get on TV and some on TV that you won't get on radio. So please do subscribe, like and share. Someone want to listen or want to see this. Okay, the very next one I want to tell you is also called Q. This time around, it's Q U E. Uh, I spell it Q U E U E. That's the spelling of that particular word. Uh, it's a predetermined arrangement of songs or commercials in such a way that they go in that manner. It's a predetermined uh, uh, arrangement of songs or commercials. Uh, in a particular manner sometimes it could be a dj it could be the board of people that have done that you've arranged those songs in such a way that it will go so immediately after this this will go immediately after this this will go so someone could tell you please go and kill some songs what you've just been told to do is go and arrange songs in a particular order and uh, that will go perhaps with this particular belt or that will flow with this particular presentation so that is q I'm sure you're learning. Okay. The very next I want to tell you is called commercial. Commercial, people call it, you can also call it sport. Commercial, or you simply call it sport. What is commercial or what is a sport? Yes, earlier I told you about jingle. So now let's talk about jingle that is actually commercial. Now, most of the time, it's I said it earlier that if it's commercial, it's appeared to be like within two, within 30. 45 60 seconds and sometimes one minute but if it's just straight jingle it could be station jingle it could be more than a minute it could be two minutes or thereabout so commercial or sometimes we call it sports is like an advertisement on radio is like a pre-recorded uh, advertisement uh, that you play and people listen to most of the time it's to promote a particular uh, a brand is to promote a particular product or services so anytime you listen to anytime you listen to you, you, li you listen to a station and you hear a particular soundtrack with some voices in between telling you or talking about a particular brand it simply means that is called a commercial or you call it a sport s p o t Yes, another one you need to be familiar with is called bank announce. Bank announce, bank announcement. It simply means that uh, you know that act of telling listeners about a particular song that has just been played or that has just ended. I'm not telling you that okay, the song you just listened to it's uh, the band featuring Two Face, and the title of that track is called uh, Better by Far. Simple as that. That is called what that presenter just did is called back nouns it just back nouns a particular track so when the song ends and the presenter comes up to tell you about briefly about that track it is called back announce i don't want to tell you it's called a vu meter a lot of people don't know what a vu meter is a vu meter is a particular device most of the time you see it in front of your uh, uh, of the board or you call it the console it, 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 it gives the unit or the strength of audio signal that is going out most of the time you see it moving up and down and sometimes some can be moving like this you understand it's called a vu meter so if your boss or your bosses tell you to check the vu meter is telling you that check the strength of the signal that is going out is it too high or too low of course you know that having been trained where to go and where not to go when it's eating yellow is telling you that it's too is not too high but please drop it down the moment it's eating red is telling you that it is too high and it's below if the green is not showing so well it's telling you also that the signal is extremely low so the vu meter 
is that meter in front or most of the time i can see mine right in front of me and it's turning left and right or sometimes moves like this and something does moving like this and that's called a vu meter you must also be aware of this and we need to familiar with some of those terms. In case you just tune in or you just joined this video, we're talking about uh, terminologies or we call about uh, nomenclatures that we use in radio broadcasting that you need to know if you don't want uh, to be embarrassed. You know, someone tells something, just wonder like, what is he saying? He says, go and queue songs. And the next thing, you go and queue somewhere, you, you go and queue behind it. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, move on again. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Someone who needs it. I want to tell you about this particular one, very popular. You call it station or you call it studio life. Some people might like to say radio life, but I think studio life seems to be more professional. Even a live studio, and all of a sudden, someone says studio life. What it simply means is absolute silence. The mic is about to be raised. The mic is about to be switched on. I know in broadcasting, we don't joke with microphone. Once the mic is on, attention, nobody speaks. So if the board operator tells you that uh, station or studio live, it simply tells you that absolute silence, someone who is supposed to speak at that point in time is about to speak. Any other irrelevant voices should keep quiet and that is what it means thank you for watching but before you know every time i love to tell you about some words that we do mispronounce especially radio presenters english speakers the first one i want to tell you is asap asap some people say asap i don't know it's simply called hesap asap or you simply say ASAP. Stop saying ASAP. It's never, never correct. I also want to bring this to your notice to model. Model, not model or model. Model. Those ladies you still around, moving around, catwalking, they are not models. They are called models. And also, I want to bring this to your notice. It is not hostile, it is hostile. Student hostel and not hostel. Not tell, but till. So I'm going to my hostel, not I'm going to my hostel. Am I making sense? I'm sure you check a dictionary to confirm this. The very last one is called expatiate and not expansiate. Most time you hear, you read in your examination, expansiate. It simply means to give details about a particular information. You should give them more information about a particular a, a, a story or something. It is not and it is never expansiate. It seeks. It is called expatiate. 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 Thank you very much for being a part of today's video. Don't forget that it comes away every week. Subscribe, like, and share because someone needs this particular video. Tim to borrow is my name, call me Karika Talk. I'll see you in the next video.